Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. We're going to do a quick video, a quick live video, I think, about how to save $1,324 on the 2024 Toyota Tacoma, you know, the new Tacoma, before you even sign on the dotted line. And this is important. Make sure you do this before you sign on the dotted line. Real quick, Krista's here with me. She just wants to say hello. She hasn't been on a live in a while. Hi. There she is. That's my wife, by the way. At least that's what I tell her. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's get right into it. You know, there are a lot of things being added to Tacomas right now in the form of accessories that the dealerships are charging you for. And sometimes they're added in to the sticker price, which is really weird. So if you don't pay attention, you're never going to know these things. But I'm here to tell you these four things you don't need. And they equal $1,324. Let's get into it. Number one. The worst thing that you can include, the connectivity kit. This is the one that I got with this Toyota Tacoma and it's never been opened. Why? Because it's useless. 75 bucks for this thing. What do you get in it? Well, I'm gonna show you real quick so you'll know what the connectivity kit actually is. There are three things that were inside there. First of all, we have what used to be called the cigarette lighter. Now it's the accessory port uh, that you plug into for power, right? With all the uh, ports and things, there's four things in here, I'm sorry. With all the ports and things that you have, I don't know why you even need this, but nonetheless, they throw it in. Then you've got, looks like three different cords to me. Now it says on the front here, you get a dual car charger, USB and USB-C, plug-in thing, that's what I just showed you. A three-foot lightning to USB cable for iPhone, iPad, iPod. That's assuming, of course, that you don't have an older version iPhone, I don't know. And then you'll also get a three-foot USB-C to USB-C cable for Android. Well, if you've got an Apple iPhone, like what I've got, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to pay for an Android cord, do you? But you get it nonetheless, you're going to pay for it. And then we have two other cords. Again, you better hope that one of them actually fits your device. Otherwise, you've just spent 75 bucks for basically a plug-in accessory thing, the thing that goes in the old cigarette lighter, that you're never going to use because you won't have a cable that actually works for it. 75 bucks for this. Tell them no, you don't want it. Next up, number two, spray-on bed liner. I love this one. Spray-on bed liner. Makes absolutely no sense to me since the Toyota Tacoma still has the composite bed. And we're going to take a look at it. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what actually comes in the Tacoma. If you look, I have a bed mat, which by the way, is exactly what you want to buy. You want a bed mat. This is what the uh, bed or the floor of the bed is going to look like. It is a plastic composite piece, as are all the sides. Why in the world would you spray bed liner on a plastic composite bed? It makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Oh, that sucker's heavy. It makes no sense to me whatsoever to spend the money for a spray-in bed liner. It's a gimmick. Someone had mentioned recently that it makes it less slippery in there. And I will tell you, the composite bed is very, very slippery. Put a bed mat in it. That spray-in liner, according to the build site that's up right now, is $575. For what? You don't need it. Tell them no. Cross it off before you sign on the dotted line. Next up for the 2024 Tacoma, Carpeted mats, carpeted mats. This is a, a misnomer. This is a conundrum to me. It is a truck, right? I mean, why in the world would you need carpeted mats in a Toyota Tacoma uh, that's supposed to be an off-road kind of beast, right? I gotta get rid of the volume on my iPad. I forgot to bring it up so I could see if there were any comments out there. John Bailey, hello, Rob and Krista, good to see you both. Hey, John, how you doing? Anyway, tell them no, you don't want those. 275 bucks for about 100 bucks less, 
You can buy all weather floor mats, which is what you want, all weather floor mats. No way should you be putting carpeted mats in a Toyota Tacoma or any truck or car, in my opinion. $275 off the table. Number four, the vehicle protection package. I'm particularly fond of this one. What is it? It's paint renewal cleaner. So they give you a bottle of some sort of cleaner, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. Paint sealant. So they apparently seal the paint with something. I'm not sure what that is, but for 399 bucks, it ain't much. Have you priced out what it costs to have your vehicle ceramic coated? It's gonna cost you anywhere from 500 if you find a real cheapy installer out there, on up to probably almost two grand. So what is it? It's some sort of wipe on wax or something. And that's my guess as to what it is. It's a hand applied wax, maybe even a spray. Ever take your truck to one of those pull in car washes, you know, where you put the coins in the thing and then it has the hose that half the time leaks all over you and doesn't work. And it has that setting on it you can choose for spray on wax. That's probably about what it is. They have something that they pump out of a can or something, probably a little more sophisticated than that. And then they spray it all over your paint and they call that a paint protectant. Lastly, fabric guard. Fabric guard. You can buy a can of this, and I'm not sponsored by these people. I will leave a link down below if you want to check it out. But this is Scotchgard Auto Fabric and Carpet Water Shield. They call it Water Shield, but it actually protects the fabric as well. You can do it yourself. Shake it up, pop the top off, and spray it all over your seats. Leave it sit until it dries and you are golden. They're not doing much more, if anything, than that. They might even use the same product. Who knows? This will cost you, I can't remember, again, there'll be a link if you want to check, but I, it's under 15 bucks, I believe. It might even be under 10, I'm not sure. And you're going to get two, three, four, I don't know, several applications out of this. $399, in my opinion, they're going to charge you for the only thing that's valuable, and that's this, and you can get it for under 15 bucks. It's absurd to me. Now, what is this all total? Well, if you were listening in the beginning, I already told you that $1,324. You don't need this stuff. Some of it, like this, you can actually do yourself, as well as waxing the vehicle, washing it, things like that. And the bed mat, that should cost you less than $200. Depends on where you get it. Probably less than $50, I think, or $100, I should say. The one that's in my truck right now, I think, cost about 89 bucks or something like that. It's a knockoff. It doesn't say Toyota across it. But I'll tell you what, for $575, I don't care if it says Toyota on it. And if that's really a big concern to you, buy an OEM version. It'll cost you, I don't know, upwards of 200 bucks, maybe a little bit more, and it'll say Toyota on it but it doesn't cost $575, craziness. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here while I was all fired up. I've been doing uh, some pricing videos on the channel. I'm running through each model of the Toyota Tacoma, building each one the way that I would build it, showing you the pricing and all that stuff. I've already done the SR and the SR5. Tomorrow, we're going to hit the pre-runner, and then we'll have the TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, and the Limited. Those are all the trims right now that you can build on Toyota's site. Sooner or later, they're going to release the hybrid versions, the, the TRD Pro and the uh, Trail Hunter. I can't wait to see what those cost. It's some of the higher trim levels, and if you add everything in, you're over 60 grand for a Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road. It's absurd craziness to me. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys happen to agree with me on this one. Is any of that stuff worth it to you? Are you going to save that $1,324 before you even sign on the dotted line? Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, real quick, couple comments. Jeff Fielder. I uh, hope you have a great weekend, Rob. Thank you, Jeff. I hope you do as well. Fred Sosage. Good information. I hope so. I try to provide useful things on the channel. Thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a great weekend out there, and we'll see you next time on the web. Bye.